hello welcome in this video i will show you how you can configure that ftp connection ftp server in oic so for that for connectivity with the connectivity with that ftp server we have ftp adapter in oic so i will use that ftp adapter to connect with this ftp server and for that as you know that this server this ftp server is on third party system so we need agent so in previous video i have already show you that how you can create the connectivity agent how you can download configure all these things so right now if you will see in my system the agent is active and is agent is running right now so what i will do i will create one connection that connection will connect with this ftp server in previous in next video i will show you how you can use that ftp connection to read data from this server ftp server and insert the data into that table database table so let me first create the connection so for creating the connection as i show you that i have already created the agent so let me show you the agent so this agent i have created and this agent is configured and running on this system so let me show you the system so you can see that this agent is running in this system so in which system we i have ftp server so let me create the connection so for connectivity with the ftp server we have ftp adapter so let me create first ftp connection with the use of ftp adapter so you can see that here we have ftp adapter select here give the name so fox ftp adapter connection 01 okay so i will use uh, role as a trigger and invoke so that I can use this integration in anywhere in a starting in end or in mid of anywhere that integration so just click on that create it will ask that configuration details right so first I need to enter that FTP server host name so let me show you the FTP server host name so if you will see so this this one right so this is my server host name so let me copy this here ftp server port that is 22 21 sorry if like for connectivity with ftp or sftp you will use same adapter that ftp adapter so if your server is that sftp server your port will be 22 and you will use here port 22 instead of 21 and you will select one more extra field that is sftp connection yes so right now i have only that ftp server so i will not select these values and now i need to enter the username and password so as you can see that here my username is that fox so i will select the same and the password whatever i have given and now it's complete but remember i have not added agent yet so if you, i will go for test it will generate error so you can see that if i will go for test it will generate error so let me show you the error first then i will configure that agent and then i will show you the test and it will be succeed right so let me complete this so here you can see that it generate error because I have not configured the agent. So let me add the agent first. So this agent is running right now. So it is showing that uh, Fox DB agent 02. Let me use and you can see that agent group is added here, right? So let me test again. So right now it will be succeeded because I have added the agent everything, right? So yeah, you can see that the Fox FTP adapter connection was tested successfully. Now let me save and this adapter is ready this adapter connection is ready to use in integration so in next video i will show you how we can use that ftp adapter connections in integration to create the data from ftp server and insert the data into the table of that whatever data available in that file so thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like this video you can share this video with your colleagues thank you so much